Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city, or Animal Crossing city folk, and it should be April Fool's Day today, which is really cool. We're kind of a little bit behind, um, but we're, oh look, we've got cherry blossom trees. It is the start of the cherry blossom season. This is so cool. Just like in Wild World, I can't wait to see which trees have changed. They look so good in the old Animal Crossing games. They look so nice. Right. We're, we've got a little guest coming over. Uh, Sunny is coming to give Molly some presents. So before we do anything, before we worry about the cherry blossom trees, which you can't see any in the north part of town, by the way. And before we worry about April Fool's Day, we're going to go ahead and let Sunny in because she has some gifts for Molly to help out with our basement. So we're going to go ahead now and open up the gates. So Molly can, uh, so Sunny can come and visit and, and do a little bit of shopping and things like that and then we can get on with enjoying the cherry blossom trees and, and check out things like the April Fools. Good morning to you, you are rather bright and early I see, very commendable. At any rate, is there something I can do for you? Yes, I want to invite guests in, we're going to open the gates up. Um, I understand I shall start the gate opening process at once so you can host guests. This is always a fun bit because you never know if it's actually going to work, but hopefully it will. We've had some a lot of success in the past year or so with town visits. Um, but it's just connecting to the servers now. Copper's doing a stand-up job. Without further ado, I will open the gates. There we go, it's open. It's so cool. We can't leave though, it's just open for other people to uh, to come in. Right, where's our balloon? I feel like we should hold our balloon for a little while. Oh, we can't hold it while we're inside. So yeah, very exciting day today because we are, of course, working slowly on Mary, uh, on Molly's house. And Sunny will have some gifts for us, which will help with the basement, I believe. And then also it's April Fool's Day. We did play April Fool's Day last year. It's not like a big event or anything, but it's still really cool that something like this is acknowledged in, uh, in the older games. Right. Oh, here we go. We've got a, uh, just as I was <laughs> saying, walking around with a balloon, we found a fossil or a gyroid, maybe. No, it's a fossil. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to drop the fossils here because we'll let, um, well, maybe we could probably get the money from them today. But yeah, can we see the sky? There we go. Bright blue, clear skies. And that is because it is the cherry blossom season, which means we've just got basically fine weather all day uh, all, all cherry blossom season which is about just under two weeks um i've also cut my finger and it's all bandaged up at the moment so i'm really struggling to hold the wii remote um because it's the one that you use to run which is kind of funny so i'm having to use a different different finger but we're okay hey gwen are you enjoying cherry blossom season doesn't look very seasonal up this end of the woods because it's all cedar trees but when we get down to the hardwood trees down the, the southern part of town it really will look a lot more uh seasonal and pretty i imagine i think about half the trees end up changing to cherry blossom definitely not the fruit trees though Right, while we're waiting, we're just going to water these because we definitely, if nothing else, we need to keep on top of the Jacob's Ladders. Um, but yeah, so cool to see Cherry Blossom in City Folk and in Wild World. Any others that we can water? In fact, we could probably move these ones now. Oops. Oh, we can have two flowers. Could we have a rose in our hair? Uh, sorry, a dandelion in our hair and a rose in our in our mouth. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and water the other flowers that we started planting over here. It's our latest flower bed. All looking pretty good, apart from one just needs watering there. We're always pretty useless because 
we never arrange things or I never arrange things with enough notice so I haven't got um, Sunny a gift I feel terrible I wonder if we can find something in the lost and found <laughs> that's so bad isn't it Um, but I th I mean, we could always pay Sunny back later. Hey, Booker, you're gonna save us here and give us a uh, something cool that's in the Lost and Found. We currently have some items in the Lost and Found. We definitely have ten. No, a vegetarian shirt. <laughs> I don't think uh, Sunny would appreciate paper or pitfalls. Maybe there's time to go to the store, but then you kind of want Sunny to be able to shop, so. Right, if we've got anything laying around town that we can give Sunny as a thank you. I didn't want to go too far south because I. Oh, Pascal's here! What was this again? A kitchen corner. Oh, I know what we can give. We're going to have to go past the cherry blossom trees and get the the lovely kitchen because we can order it again and I'm pretty sure Sunny mentioned that she didn't realize it was an item so the the, the lovely kitchen is gonna save the day because we've cataloged it now so we can we can uh, we can order a new one whoo that saved us there my lack of organization skills but that's okay but look at this! We're, we've seen the cherry blossom trees now. Oh, even the money tree! One of the money trees has got, oh, two of the money trees have got cherry blossom on. That's so cool. We'll go and have a investigate those in a minute. Um, that's so cool. I wasn't expecting the money trees to have cherry blossom on them for some reason. Is that a thing in other games or is that just a city folk thing? All right, here we go. We've got a lovely kitchen for... Um, for Sunny, there we go. And these are just event items, I think, left over. We still need to sort those out and make sure we don't need them. And if we do, just sell them. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, let's go check out this the cherry blossom trees. Now that we've seen them, we might as well have a little bit more of a look round. They're so pretty, aren't they? they? There's just something about them. I think it's just the shape of the petals and the different color, the color palette. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's arrived. Just in time after we found the uh, the gift as well. Whew! Saved by the uh, lovely kitchen. So I think Sunny should be walking through the gates. So glad that these servers still work. Sunny looking as glamorous as ever. What dress is that? Is that? It kind of looks. Oh no! Don't, is that might be a custom one? Maybe I can't tell. Some of the dresses look so detailed. Um, but yeah. Okay, we better go up to up to <laughs> up to the plaza um oh i haven't got my keyboard out um there we go hello this is for you a little gift There we go. A, a last minute gift. Sunny will realize uh, how we race to get that uh, at the last minute if she catches the episode later in the week. Um, but so excited to see what Sunny's bringing us. We, she always does more for us than we do for her. So we're super grateful. So thank you so much, Sunny, for bringing this stuff over. Oh, yes, a silver rod. Wow. I wish I had my keyboard set up so I was quicker at typing. This is going to be so helpful for Molly. Let's see what we've got here. I think one of them's probably one of the boxing ring items. So we've got a CD player. That's going to be good for the basement as well. Neutral corner. A ringside table. And then, oh, and two neutral corners, that's so good. Thank you so much. These are perfect. This is gonna help out so much. These 
are perfect. Thank you. We <laughs> owe you. <laughs> Go fight club. <laughs> um, I'm, oops, I'm just going to say feel free to to wander. Feel free. Oops. Ah, I can't spell to to shop. Also, Also, tour time is here because it's April Fools. Right, this is one of those things I really love. Um, kind of just getting on with the game while someone else is in town. I say it all the time. It's just it just makes Animal Crossing even more um, special when you're running around doing your own thing, but someone else is in town running around doing their own thing. It's just a really cool atmosphere. Um, so let's go ahead and oh, Pascal's here as well. Totally forgot. So Sunny could use Pascal if 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 needs. Um, Let's just say Pascal 2. Maybe Sunny needs a Pascal item. Pascal 2. Shell. Oops. Pascal 2. Shell near. Near rock. If you wanted to go. Um, right, let's check out the items we got for Molly and then we can really spend the last of the end of the episode kind of just enjoying the cherry blossom season it's so cute to see something different especially seeing such a, a drastic change in the trees um, and then we will go to Tom Nooks and reorder our lovely kitchen because that is a really cool and unique item um, right so the neutral corners are here what we could do also is did we end up ordering another I can't remember if we ended up ordering another red corner or not. Didn't know a ringside table existed either. Oh, it's so cool. Look at how cool this is. I can't believe that's one big item. They should make more items that um, merge together to create new items. So cool, right? Ringside table, is it? What kind of, what item is the ringside table then? Is it just a normal table? Oh, yeah, it's like a. It kind of looks like the school desk, doesn't it? Is this where the judges sit? What does it look like from the side? Can we fit it somewhere better, or do we just need it here? I think that would look better there, wouldn't it? Right, we've got a CD player as well, which could probably go on the table, but I think for now, we'll throw it down here. Yeah, that's much better than the boombox, actually. So we'll get rid of the boombox. It just fits in aesthetically a little bit more, doesn't it? There we go. And we have got a lot of mail as well, actually. Um, and we also got a present from Reconnect24, which is the wildflower floor, very seasonal. Right, let's go and check our mail. Oops. Because we ordered a bunch of barricades, didn't we? So happy as well to get the silver rod, which means we can get rid of our normal rod. There we go, so we don't accidentally sell that. Thank you so much, it's going to come in super useful. Because it just makes fishing that little bit easier. Um, right, let's check our mail, we'll go outside. We definitely need a new track for the, the Underground Fight Club though. <laughs> um, that KK March or whatever is getting a little bit repetitive, isn't it? But look at how many trees surround Molly's house that are Cherry Blossom. That's so cool. Right, let's check our mail. Hopefully we haven't got... Yeah, we've got loads. I was going to say too many, but then I remembered we ordered so many. Um, so many stuff. I've oh, got one from Mum as well. Dear Molly, I came up with a wonderful practical joke to play on you, but your father thought it would be too cruel, so never mind. He's nicer than I am. Just being honest. So that's like a little April Fool's uh thing. Hello, Ed just asked if he knew. Oh no. If he knew what? What did Ed know? Oh no. 
The Moridan fight song. <laughs> what? <laughs> He must be an upcoming member. That's so perfect. <laughs> yes, Morilad has a fight song. That should be our tune. I wonder if there's like KK fight. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Right, these are just all stuff for our boxing room. So it's going to be a little tedious to open all these letters. And they're going to mostly be barricades. Because we ordered so many. But it'll be worth it when we get to decorate the room. Uh, yeah, these. <laughs> I think we ended up ordering like seven or eight barricades in the end. There we go, boxing barricade. I feel like Ed would be part of the fight club as well. He looks like one of the quiet ones that you just don't mess with, you know. Champion of the underground fight club. Doesn't acknowledge Molly out in person, but they they know. Right, there we go. We finally cleared our mailbox. Goodness. So many. And we've got... I hope we ended up ordering a red corner. Oh, they wouldn't have all arrived today because we ordered so many. Another boxing mat. Right, I'm going to put this down here. Put some of these away. Okay, let's go and add some more to our basement just to get the items out of our pockets. I don't know. We've probably got way too many barricades now. I don't think we're going to need them all. Um, the wildflower floor we can definitely put away somewhere. These are the DLC items that we're collecting. Oh no! Can you hear the, the the water bird? Squeaky. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad when the song's playing, but when it keeps starting over when you go into a new room, that's when it gets a little bit weird, doesn't it? Right, it's really hard to move things around with my finger strapped up, but that's why I keep accidentally picking things up. But we've got a, did we get another one? It probably didn't arrive yet, did it? Boxing mat, bar it's just the barricades. Okay, um, and a boxing mat. Right, where are we gonna put the table? We might not need, the table might have to come further down here, you know. Do we need an opening for the boxing mat? Hmm, let's see what it looks like with a bunch of barricades down. It is a cool item because it creates like a bit of a fence, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have to move this over here a bit. I think this probably should be the other side of the fence somewhere. Um, or maybe they could be part of the fence. Oh, what? You can't put anything in when you're room when you go. Oh no, Sunny must be in the house. Sunny's sneaking in like a ninja. <laughs> hey, we predicted you would come here. It's all coming together. Oops. Can we roll across? Oh, no way! What? This is so cool! <laughs> I 
That's so weird. <laughs> um, that's just so weird. I wish the... Uh, aha! We've tra <laughs> trapped you in. <laughs> I don't have any other emotions. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. It looks like uh, Sunny has just like beaten Molly and uh, and left us. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Right, so when Sunny leaves, we can put some more down. Thinking up here, just a couple of fences, maybe one or two more. The table, I think, is going to have to go as if it is part of the fence because the room's probably just not big enough. But the room looks so good with the boxing ring. I think until we find the blue one, we might go to Nook and order a red one. I can't remember if we already did, but I'll order another one just in case. And that will fill the room up until we get... Um, until we find the blue corner somewhere. Looks like Sunny has left the building. Barricade. Yeah, that looks so cool. Right, I guess the mat's going to have to go here, isn't it? Oh, Pascal is here. Oh, d maybe Sunny didn't get our message. Uh, you can use him if you want. Shell by rock near C. Uh, just think, I don't know if Sunny needs any Pascal items. Might be a good opportunity to see if she can get something from somewhere else, maybe? Right, this lamp. I'm wondering um, if this lamp can go on the table. Would it be better on the table? It would clear up a little bit of floor space, wouldn't it? Um, what I might do, actually, is just put it on this side. I know I'm being really picky here, but I'd like, I don't want it to block those... Uh, those fences there. That looks cool. I mean, the table doesn't have to necessarily go there. We could have put it at the back of the room, but it kind of you tend to have a table in front of the thing, don't you? Do you think it would be better, actually? A little bit more like that. So, again, it was in front of the mat. A little bit more symmetrical. We're a sucker for making things symmetrical, aren't we? So how many barricades we got left? We got three barricades left. Um, I don't think we need any more barricades. We're gonna have to end up pushing some of these items together, I think. Uh, locker in. Oh, cool. Thanks for letting me know. We're going to go and get that locker. That would definitely look cool in a gym. Um, I think the locker could go up the top here, maybe next. We're going to have to move these down, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, the locker could go up here next to the headwear. Um, we have ordered another weight bench to put next to it, but maybe we don't need... Would it look better that way, or...? I don't know, it kind of looks better from the side, doesn't it? I think, I feel like we might not need another weight bench. Um, right, CD player's gonna have to go over here in the corner. I think these gonna have to go down here like the weigh-ins for the for the boxing actually these could probably uh what do we want to do here we maybe we can make a little another little area oh we need a chair don't we i'm wondering we might have to move we might have to move this table i'm not sure where's best to put it maybe it would be best right in the front maybe is it too much if we put it right in front of us um 
like, um, it's how you would get in necessarily. And then we can put another barricade there. Yeah, we can't get through. What does it look like if we pull these down a little bit? Um, and then we could put the locker in here, couldn't we? There we go. So yeah, that, that makes sense. So we can weigh in here. We've got some um, training equipment. I know you'd normally have a table next to the boxing ring, so I'm doing a lot of thinking right now, not talking too much, just trying to work out what would be best. But I think for space saving, and so we've got a little locker room, it would be nice just to have the table out and more of an admissions table. And they can still like commentate on the, the fight in the boxing from there, so it still works. And we've got a lamp, um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. I don't think we need to use the other two Oh, we've only got one more boxing barricade. I oh, suppose we could have it down. It's not obvious how you get in though, because it, it almost closes the full gap. Maybe we could put it in between here. Um, there we go. <laughs> it's so funny that you can use these. So funny. And we can lay on this as well and do some, do some lifts, get some gains. Okay, this is looking cool. I think this works pretty well. It's, it's divided up a different way than I normally would divide a room. I'm terrible for always going with the same strategy. So I think this is quite a unique look. And it's also got some space to work with here. We could put a locker or two in the corner there. Maybe a bench or something. If we come across another item that might be suitable. Maybe one of those folding chairs would look good if we could get a folding chair. Let's go to Nooks and see if we can grab this locker. That's so cool. What luck. I love it when you're doing a build or you're doing a design or something. And then something just falls in place. Uh, like having an item in Nooks that we need. Right, let's go ahead and... Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a butterfly and a ladybug. <laughs> I was like, a new different creature. Okay, it looks like Sunny uh, spoke with Pascal. Hopefully she got a cool item. But let's go and see what else Nook has. Um, but yeah, at the very least, we're gonna pick up that locker. Still no silver slingshot. I don't think anyone's ever got a sl silver slingshot. I'm starting to think it's not real. Oh, this might be quite good as well. The locker suits it perfectly, doesn't it? Um, I want to sell. I think that chalkboard would look good in there. We're gonna have to go and get some more bells, aren't we? There's no way that chalkboard is going to be like 500 bells. Yeah, okay, we need to go and find 1,000 bells. Ivy wall. I think the basement wall actually looks okay, but we do have a sports wall somewhere as well. Oh, that's also the ivy wall, but it isn't. What's this one then? Oh, the lab wall. Oh, that would look kind of cool. You want it to be a little bit bare and a little bit run down. Oh, that's the plaza wall. That's what the plaza wall looks like. That's what Queenie has in her house in Wild World. Right, let's go and we'll do, we'll sell some fruit really quickly so we can get some extra bells. Don't know what Sunny's up to. Probably shopping in Abel's, maybe. Or checking around town, looking at the cherry blossom. All right, have we got any fruit left? <laughs> got some fruit left. We don't even need that many just to get those two items there.
It's so hard to use a nunchuck, a Wii remote, with one less finger. Right, we can sell these fruit. We should have enough to buy. We'll buy the lab wall just to see what it looks like compared to what we've got at the moment because the wall can really change the entire look of a room. And then we'll see if we can fit the chalkboard in there somehow because that's also a really cool item. Um, don't want to accidentally sell the locker. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to order the kitchen, lovely kitchen next time, I think, because we're going to need it. It's quite an expensive item. Yeah, maybe we could... It's a shame we can't customise it. It'd be cool to put, like, you know, those grid of names that you have, like, in a sports competition. So we know who was fighting who. Uh, was it this first one, wasn't it? Right, we'll buy it just to see what it's like. There we go. I don't think we need any of the other items. There's no room for a harp in the underground fight club. Thank you, Nook. Okay, it's good that we haven't got any more. Well, we've, got, we've still got the final debts to pay off, but we haven't got any more expansions. So it's good to, to technically be on all the last debts. Um, hey! Oh! What? Sunny just got deleted out of existence. Oh, there you are. Super useful Sunny to the rescue, saving all of our flowers. <laughs> I think she just knows how useless we are with uh, watering our flowers. Anyway, let's get back and put these in the um, basement. We need to think of a name. Are we going to call it a fight club? Or are we going to call it like a gym or just a basement? Code word, basement. Um, right, let's uh, see where we... Ah! My dodgy uh, finger again, right. So, we might have to... We might have to put the CD... Oops, the CD player on the table for now. It will keep it out of the way. It will open up the space a little bit. And we might be able to... Get the locker in the corner. That looks so good. I feel like we need another locker though, don't we? And then you've got these. I think one of these is going to have to go... Over there. So we can fit the chalkboard in somewhere. Um, let's put this over here. I'm sure there's a million ways we could do this. Um, oops. <laughs> a million ways we could do this room. The way in, we might not have room for a second locker. We may as well put the little way in next to the locker, mightn't we? Because it kind of goes aesthetically anyway. And then we've cleared the space here. And we can have the chalkboard. There, that looks so good. Okay, Sunny's heading home. Thanks again. Sunny, you're a superstar. Always waiting for me. Um, always <laughs> um, allowing us to deal with tech issues. There we go. Bye, Sunny. That was super nice of Sunny to bring those over. It's really helped make the room, hasn't it? And with a couple of extra items from Nooks today, it's really brought the room together. It's almost, I would say, almost at a finished state. Um, but we will just check the lab wall. I think that might look a little bit better than the basement wall that we've got going at the moment. Um, but they're very similar walls, actually. It's, I think the lab wall is kind of just like a, a, a wider version of the, the basement wall. It's kind of just raw concrete. Um, well, there goes Sunny anyway. So yeah, we could have the chalkboard like this, or we could push it up into the corner like that. I think that's a little bit too weird, isn't it? So we'll have it in the corner, I think. 
That looks so good. This came out, I think, even better than I thought it would, than what I was trying to imagine. We might have to jiggle a few things around, maybe? But I think overall, this looks really good. Right, let's check this wall. So that's what the basement wall looks like. Um, oh, the lab wall. Yeah, that it really does change the look of a room. I actually don't like it. I think I prefer the basement, the concrete wall. It's just a bit darker, actually, isn't it? So yeah, there we go. If we wanted to, we might be able to squeeze another mat in, but I don't really see the need to. Because you just kind of use it where you would get into the ring. We're utilizing the table for the CD player and the lamp, which we kind of need them both in here. So it's nice just to get them off the floor. Um, the only thing I would have liked to have a chair maybe for the table, but we haven't really got the room. We might be able to put an office chair here if we find one, you know, like the steel foldable chairs. But also, thanks to the locker, well spotted. Uh, currently there we've got access to storage as well um, but yes just in case you don't know by now that was it's me Carly by the way a uh, big friend of the channel running her own Animal Crossing and Cozy Gamer channel by the way on YouTube so definitely check her out um, if you like this content here on this channel you're gonna love her content as well so definitely check her out um, yeah so I don't think there's much left we could do on this chat on this uh, Oh, on this channel and in this room sorry apart from get the last corner but which is a blue corner and i think is a red item i'll have to double check but i think i might just buy a red corner and stick it in there until we get a another blue corner because yeah there we go let me know what you think of this room this is so cool um and I've, do you know what i've just remembered we totally missed bunny day i wanted to milk bunny day for all the bells and i got so distracted that I totally forgot to do Bunny Day. But we could always time travel back if we needed to. And I've just realized we haven't even checked out the cherry blossom trees. So let's go check out the cherry blossom trees. Oh my goodness, I'm all over the place today. Right, we're gonna go and check the cherry blossom trees but just before we wrap up because um, this is another new look for Mori Land on the Wii. And we haven't seen it in about a year and I totally forgot what it even looks like to be honest. But look how beautiful these trees are. Oh no. It was this Genji's house, wasn't it? Genji's moved. This looks weird now. Oh well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are the cherry blossom trees. And I actually can't believe we have um, sort of cherry blossom money trees. Like, what is that about? Look at it. It looks like a big tree with the one behind it. That's super cute. But there we go. Cherry blossom trees. I love them. I could just run around and just enjoy the, the cherry blossom. But we'll save that for another episode because we've done quite a lot today. Um, so we can definitely enjoy the cherry blossom for another couple of weeks. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot. Uh, don't forget to head over to It's Me Carly. I'm sure you'll find some content over there you'll really enjoy as well. Super cozy and lots of variety of different games there. So you won't be disappointed with that, I doubt. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite bit of this episode is. And please let me know what you think of the basement room, the underground fight club gym room. And let me know which member you think would turn up daily. That would be quite a fun one. Who's going to visit this room daily? Uh, but thank you so much. And a huge shout out, of course, to the channel members as well. Couldn't do it without you. Uh, we upload as regularly as we do, pretty much, at least every other day. Sometimes two times a day, several times a week. And it's all because of you. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. Everyone watching appreciates you. So please know how important and appreciated you are. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Enjoy Cherry Blossom season. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.